Hey survivors and thrivers. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how the narcissist envy overrides their empathy. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsvivorcoaching at gmail.com. Check out our Narc Survivor merchandise store. We have Narc Survivor t-shirts and mugs that are available to purchase. The link to our Teespring page is in the video description. The Narcissist Envy overrides their empathy. Their pathological envy and jealousy overrides any empathy they would otherwise have for you. They will also try to limit or restrict your resources to prevent any further narcissistic injuries. If you want to know what they were so envious or jealous of, pay attention to what they are using to try and make you envious or jealous after the relationship. They will endlessly display or talk about a new car, relationship, money or career to you the desire or motive behind doing this is from when they had to witness you in a certain car relationship or with money or a career. They find a way to sabotage it and then limit or restrict you from achieving or obtaining that again. Then they use it to remind you of your feeling of loss to regulate their emotions and unresolved traumas. In their minds you hurt them and made them feel envious or jealous. You may not have in intended to hurt them in any way. You were just living your life. But because they are so se self-centered, they take everything personally. In their minds you did that intentionally to hurt them. So once they have sabotaged your once natural way of living. They will then display or talk about things like their new car, relationship, money or career. This is an, an attempt to hurt you from, from when they had to witness your progress or success. They will even strategically time themselves to be at certain places at certain times knowing that you will be there, all the while pretending as though it is just coincidental, but secretly they are trying to train you into feeling the very emotions that they once felt when they had to witness your progress or success. They never resolve the narcissistic injury that they receive from witnessing your progress or success. So even if after they have sabotaged you, you are left with nothing or you are homeless, their feelings of envy and jealousy are still there. They could be envious of your qualities, talents or positive traits. Or they could still be envious from remembering what you once had in the past. They could also be jealous of what you might achieve or obtain in the future. And their envy and jealousy overrides any empathy they would otherwise have for you. So they will continue to abuse you. They are still envious and jealous of you, even when they have more than you in every aspect of their lives. Another reason for this is because they cannot get the same fulfillment from those things. It doesn't fulfill them, but they know that they fulfill you. So they will use those, those things as a way to hurt you as a way to make you feel those feelings of envy and jealousy that they once felt and probably still feel even if they have managed to sabotage or destroy your life. As you begin to build everything 
that they destroyed in your life. They will become hypersensitive towards anything you achieve or obtain. It can get to a point where you can't even go out for dinner without causing a narcissistic injury and triggering them to attack, to attack you or sabotage you all over again. They will do whatever they can to restrict or manage your life so that your progress or success doesn't begin to hurt them all over again. Anything you achieve or obtain, no matter how small, has the potential to make them envious. Anyone you talk to, anything you do that doesn't involve them, has the potential to make them jealous. Any time that they see you working towards something, it becomes a reminder of how they felt in the past. How it made them feel when they had to witness your progress or success. Whether it was your career, relationships, hobbies, interests or financially. They don't want to feel that way again. So they will do whatever they can to restrict or limit you from achieving or obtaining that all over again. They will enforce fly monkeys, create smear campaigns, which could then lead to gang stalking. They will have fly monkeys to monitor you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because they are terrified that you could achieve attain the very things that once hurt them so much. They are aware that you have the capabilities. They are aware that you possess the qualities, talents or positive traits to achieve and obtain everything that you once had. Their mission now is to prevent that from happening. Of course they understand that you are human and you do require the basic needs to keep you alive. But they will still experience envy when they have to witness something as simple as you eating food or having a glass of water. They can't stand it. They become so hypersensitive to their feelings of envy and jealousy because they keep feeding into it and letting it drive them wild. So you might be out somewhere ha having something to eat and there's this complex analysis process going on in, in their minds when you receive the food they are imagining the visual stimulation you are receiving from looking at your food they are imagining how you are able to smell the food and then as it enters your mouth they are thinking about how you you are probably enjoying the taste of that food and how it is pro probably providing you with some form of satisfaction. It makes them really mad because they cannot get the same fulfillment. And this is just food I'm talking about here. Just imagine how they felt when they had to witness you having a career, relationships, hobbies and interests or financial success. Now you can see where the desire and motivation comes from to enforce fly monkeys create smear campaigns and even engage in gang stalking. All of this is designed to prevent you from achieving or obtaining that ever again. They are envious and jealous of you enough, even if you have nothing. So as you find ways to achieve and obtain it all over again, they get worse. They become more abusive, more obsessed with you. Because while they were so desperately trying to limit or restrict everything in your life, they became hypersensitive to anything, no matter how small, that you might achieve or obtain. They were so used to you having nothing, and they felt certain that with their fly monkeys constantly monitoring you, there is no way that you could ever achieve any of that again. Of course, this didn't stop them from being hypervigilant or paranoid. They always had this fear that maybe, just maybe, 
you could find an opportunity to pull yourself out of it. This led them to anticipate or predict potential events before they even happen. They tried to be 10 steps ahead of you at all times. This is why they have to control the environment. It helps them to predict what is going to happen so they can assess and then manage the risk of you achieving or obtaining anything that could provide you with any form of happiness, satisfaction or fulfillment in your life. If you are beginning to return to the person you once were, before these people force themselves into your life, please be very cautious. They are not just going to let you achieve or obtain everything you once had without trying to stop you. Just remember how they reacted to your success in the past. They are going to be more hypersensitive this time around. Because they spent so much time and effort restricted or managing your life. Now any little thing you achieve or obtain could potentially cause a narcissistic injury. They do not want you to have a successful career or relationships. They do not want you to have hobbies or interests. They do not want you to have financial success. They might make you believe that they don't care, or time has passed now, so you deserve to move on and live your life. Don't believe them. They can't stand the idea of your success. They're not happy, satisfied or fulfilled with their lives. So why should you be? That's how they see it. And that's why you need to be very careful. I highly, highly recommend going no, completely no contact with them. Leaving your current environment will be very beneficial for you. Once you've caused that narcissistic injury, once they've had to witness your progress or success in any aspect of your life, they will never see you the same way after that. They will blame it on something you've done or they will act as though they are trying to help you. Don't believe what they are saying. They are envious and jealous and this overrides any empathy they would otherwise have for you. They sabotage and then control every aspect of your life. Isolating you from anyone who could otherwise help you. It allows them to, 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 to develop this intimate relationship with you. But it's very one-sided. It's where you are serving them and giving them every, everything they want. But they will never give anything to you. They do not value or, or respect you. They don't see you as a human being. They understand that you are human, but they see you as an object that exists to serve them, to fulfill their needs. So you end up in this involuntary relationship with them. You don't want to be a part of it, but then you are given no opportunities to leave and get every opportunity to stay. They expect you to give up everything, to be their nothing. Anything you get involved with, which is outside of their control or outside of them, will be reinterpreted to be brought back into their realm. It has to relate to them in some way. Nothing can exist outside of their control or outside of them. The only world that exists is their world. And since these people are likely stalking you and watching everything you are doing 24 hours a day, they will be observing everything you are getting involved with. 
naturally they are going to feel jealous as you are engaging in things which are outside of them their way of regulating their feelings of jealousy and bringing those things back into their world is to associate themselves with whatever you are engaging in they cannot see anything as being separate to them or outside of them their obsessive need for control does not allow them to see it in that way everything has to relate to them everything has to be associated with them in some way nothing exists outside of them or outside of their control it's either a part of their world their alternate reality or nothing that's how they perceive it in their minds So you might be trying to meet someone new whether a friend or relationship partner and suddenly a fly monkey is popping up making some form of relation or association with this new person who is outside of their world they will always find a way to make a connection or relevance to themselves or someone or someone else in their world in their minds there always has to be a link an attachment which keeps you locked into their world and their way of thinking or being so they will psychoanalyze this new person they will put them under the microscope analyzing every fine detail of their character and personality every detail of their appearance until they find something which will have some form of connection or relevance to themselves or someone or someone something else in their world this is the sickness they develop from having such a obsessive need to control you their pathological envy and jealousy causes them to be completely obsessed with you where they can't stand to see you involved in anything that is outside of them anything that is outside of their world And this becomes very damaging for them it gets to a point where they could they can no longer see people or things the same way suddenly everyone and everything is the same everyone and everything has some form of connection or relevance to someone or something nothing is unique there can even be multiple people or things in their world which they will claim to have some form of connection or relevance this is real crazy making and they will expect you to see it in the same way if you don't something is wrong with you or you're just pretending you don't see it in that way but really you do in their world everyone has to see things the same way there are no unique perceptions So please be aware of this they do not want you to leave their world they will do whatever they can to make you believe that there is nothing outside of their world even what you may believe to be outside is still a part of them that's what they want you to believe they want you to think but this is all there is and this is all there is for you don't believe them there is so much more for you out there these people will never value or respect you because they do not value or respect themselves and that's why it was so easy for them to develop these feelings of envy and jealousy towards you and this desperate need and obsession to control you but if you can get out of this environment if you can get out of this world you will find that there is a much bigger world out there a world where people will value and respect you they will not abuse and manipulate you 
They will not stalk and harass you every day. They will not try to sabotage everything you try to accomplish. Once you leave the Narciss world, you will discover that there is a better life out there. Where the things that you want, the things that you want to do, they are available to you. The Narciss world could never provide you with the qualities or resources that you are looking for. But once you leave their world, you will find a new world full of abundance where qualities or resources are available in large quantities. There is a world out there where everything you are looking for really exists. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can contact me at narcs5coaching at gmail.com. Also check out our Narc Survivor t-shirts and mugs on our Teespring page. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.